I'm State Senator Jill Tracy. I represent the 47th Senate District that encompasses 11 counties in West Central Illinois. Today we're going to inaugurate new incoming members to the General Assembly and uh, then in uh, the next weeks we will begin the work of the 102nd General Assembly. Now I must say uh, we just finished a horrendous lame duck session that finished in the wee hours of this morning. I, I don't believe we've ever finished uh, and worked all night at 7 a.m. and then begun at 10.30 a.m. the same day. Uh, it was, uh, to me, a, a travesty of the process and misuse of the power of the controlling party to uh, force through many reform measures in areas that could have been addressed in the regular session of the 102nd session. And uh, the measures that were passed are going to impact every citizen of the state and I think in, in negatively impact uh, many areas. When the process was distorted and the public wasn't allowed to uh, vet in regular committee hearings, all of these measures. But nevertheless, these measures passed. It took, uh, as I said, working through all the night hours of last night to uh, get those measures passed. And now the challenge is to begin the 102nd General Assembly session and really address what I consider the needs of the state that are urgent. And that is helping employers, helping employees navigate uh, the economic challenges that they're facing right now. We uh, have a, a governor who's had unchecked executive orders. Certainly, I think uh, as a General Assembly, we need to work together and find ways that we can uh, work through pandemic situations without uh, shutting out the other branches of government, such as the legislative process. So. These are challenges and uh, our people are hurting. They're looking for us for answers. I want to work together and find those answers so that we can help, as I say, employers, employees, students, school boards, people that have been sick by the, the COVID and uh, those that have lost family members. We have many challenges. And uh, if we work together, we can do this and really address the matter at hand that uh, has caused our state to hurt its citizens and uh, us to bleed jobs and population. So I'm up to the challenge. I, uh, inv I appreciate the support I've received from all of my constituents and I invite all of you to give me your comments and your perspectives of what you think we should be doing to address the challenges as I mentioned. And um, I'm, I'm anxious to get back to work because we certainly have much work, much very important work to do.